Hey everyone, not too long ago I reviewed this Converge of the Psycho Gundam and articulation wise it's pretty weak but the overall details I think is pretty nice the, the appearance of it it's mostly a static model though anyways I liked it so much so got the uh, Psycho 2 version so here we have uh, Converge EX22 Psycho Gundam 2 Mark 2 and it's weird there's no H there but since Bandai owns Gundam, the franchise. I assume this is probably spelled correctly for them. This came out in 2018. Uh, let's see, it does have a flight mode, much like the first one, 95 millimeters high. And there's some specs there. So it's around 280 tons and it's 40 meters tall. Um, there's the flight mode. And, all right, let's get this open. Instructions are good. Alright, so fandom here, let's see what it says. There's the blurb from fandom. Let me focus. So if you want to pause the video and read that. Well, I now cut these bags open. So the gum, I'm not going to chew on that. One, two, three, four bags of stuff. Some red, purple, and blue, some silver color. Be careful cutting these things. I'm always afraid of cutting an actual part. There's some really small parts in that one. Oh boy, the head, that antenna is looking really fragile. the antenna were not damaged so that cardboard helped a little bit there's a stand here and I assume it goes together like this let's uh, close this out we're gonna build the flight mode first and that's the only animation image I could find and then so the ultimate like, I was just pose it as a robot uh, this doesn't really enthrall me but if it's anything like the first psycho I have to take parts off it's already assembled in many ways so I can see this is a separate piece. Look at that. The feet, the legs here. Let me read the instructions. All right, let's see if I can uh, figure this out. So I'm gonna first make this, uh, you pretty much have to take everything apart, by the way. So this goes up here this I think and this thing just covers up the hole that used to be the hand it's a very loose fit though and then this thing goes on the outside like this so this is pretty much like the, the right shoulder and I will do the same for this side here so this peg goes in here Then this goes into the forearm, what was the forearm, and then that blue plug again covers up that hole where the hand used to be, but very loose fit. But sorry, right, I'm not going to display this in the future like this. Um, Alright, so the top torso, we got to put on these little red ring thruster things. And that for now is all that goes there. This top horn looking thing, it's got these little side parts that go on like this. The plastic might be a little bit warped. There we go. So this side here, you can see all the nice details as I put this all together. So that horn thing hangs out there. 
And then we have the main torso, the flight mode torso, which is different from the walking robot torso. So this goes here, I think. Hmm, sorry, I'm just looking at the instructions. This is supposed to be in the down position, so I think I'll figure that out later. Oh, this is the back of the torso, I think. Hmm. Well, I definitely know these shins go on like this. These came from the legs. But then I definitely think I need to have a piece here. So... But this is weird. This... I... Well... I'm gonna just try this. That's what the image on the instructions is showing me. off the other torso and they just pop on the bottom of this so that looks right they like compressed down and then uh, I guess that's it for this piece and then this meets to that some of these pegs and holes they're really tight fits you gotta kind of like wiggle it and stretch out the hole so you can just hear the tension. I feel like something is missing from here though. Oh, I see. It's this piece. Alright, so that's coming together alright. And then that shoulder piece here. tight squeeze. Boy, that's so tight I'm afraid to push it in. I'm afraid I won't get it out. Maybe I'll just do it loosely. Yeah, that's really tight, that one as well. Okay. So now what goes on here? Well, I know these go back here. put the butt plate on first I think so that shape matches this shape and these go around those red things I put on earlier so that that's nice how that goes around like that okay so that's coming together these things what goes in here sides of this shield folds, comes apart, and let's see, I feel like this piece comes out, yeah, there's a, there's a tooth there, for some reason it's got horizontal stabilizing wings, to the outside and then this goes into the side like that so like that so that means I gotta remove this piece I think some stock paint T shape like this all the details are on the the bottom though you might want to flip flop them from left to right that stand so I'll peg all the way up in there might be hard to see but and then get that up in here let me get this spinning well I guess that looks close to the image it's a little bit different uh, fusion works seems to take liberties you know this thing's got two things here this just has one 
In fact, it looks like this should be on there, right? It's, well, I don't know. Anyway, it's just a really strange looking ship. It's more vertical than it is horizontal. But I guess that's just the way it's supposed to be, so... I almost feel like it should be more like this, right? Then that looks like a cockpit. But no, it's it's supposed to be like that, so... Alright, well I'm gonna take this all apart and let's try to put it together as a, a robot. Alright, so naturally we can just get rid of this stand. I will not use that again. This thing this probably doesn't belong in the robot at all. Oh, it actually goes on the back of the robot later, so we gotta keep that. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I'll just keep the left side and right side over here. These are the flight pieces. We don't need those anymore. Get a different angle. This is the butt piece. We will need that. We're going to need the torso. We're going to need this thing. And probably that. So yeah, this is won't be used again. That's flight mode. Let's get this torso now. The walking torso. So this armor plate here now pegs in like that. And it's got a, a hole and a peg, and corresponding on the reverse on the other side. As to why this one doesn't want to go in, I don't know. It's like too short, it's weird. It's got to stretch up and reach that one. Well, that's really odd. What's going on with that? Well, alright, finally got it, but it's really strange. Okay, uh, that piece goes back in again. It actually has a shape, so it can't go. It's not can't go upwards. It has to point downwards. Man, that's really tight as well. So see the the thing is crooked. In the actual rectangular shape. Where's the rear? Yeah, the rear skirt thing. Alright, so that's good. Now the torso uh, goes like this. I don't know what this is. It's I guess that must be for the shoulders. Yeah, alright. I gotta get those shoulder pieces going again, so I gotta take this thing apart. So this is flight mode piece, you don't need that. You don't need this hand cover thing either. That's for flight mode only. So now I can put the hand back in here. It's round peg so you can pose the hand. And then here goes back on here and yeah it actually goes through this opening but now it's quite loose it was really tight before but it's the vinyl stretches so that's what that arm looks like there okay and now that hole is actually a lot looser too so same thing on this side I gotta take this off here keep that keep this but lose that lose this boot cover hand in, pop this blue piece in, and pop this one back on top, and that becomes the other arm over here. Okay, coming along, oh well the back, 
We have these red things here. I think uh, yeah. I just wanted to double check that orientation. It seems correct because it's supposed to be cradled again by this purple piece. So these things want to hook downwards or look like they're hooking down. And then the detail part here goes on the outside. You'll notice this one actually has text on the inside. All right, so that's, that's nice there. And now yeah, that weird... Oh, I see, I'm gonna have to remove these side plates. those anymore. And this thing, look at the diagram, I guess it points downwards. <sighs> that was tight. Alright, so that's all sitting together nicely. shield as you saw me take it apart I'm gonna put it back together now these plates go like that this plate goes in on the inside goes that random piece here holding the shield together chassis number into the shield. It's pretty cool. That's going to go on the arm later. Uh, the legs. Where is the leg torso piece? I see. Uh, yeah, it's these. So this is like the inside of the leg and then it goes into this here. And then the foot goes on here. I think that's the wrong foot. Because this one has an L shape. Or, no, it's not the wrong foot. It's just maybe facing backwards. No, something's wrong here. Ah, uh, it's upside down. Okay, so the knee has this big protruding thing going upwards. And that goes in here. shape, it's an L shape. This side is a T shape, so it has to be this way. It's just a really tight fit. Gotta wiggle it, but eventually it'll get in there. Okay. Outside the window, still. Man, that's tight. But I guess it's good that's tight. It shouldn't fall apart too easily. All right, now I can put that uh, shield on this forearm. The shield feels this rigid plastic. It's not soft plastic. Okay. This can go either way. It's and then the last thing is the head, which we haven't really talked about, so we might as well talk about it now. So it's got some nice metallic there. Let's get my toothpick. Uh, the eyes, boy, that's kind of weak. I don't think that's transparent. Oh, it is transparent. There's red. There's light getting in there. For a moment, I thought it was just painted. But what they did is took a red piece of plastic and painted this green metallic around it or maybe it's black but it's really dark no matter what it is what's going on here I think, does this whole thing come out well that's probably not supposed to happen it's 
feels like this is a whole separate piece. So maybe it's not glued together properly, or maybe it's just a bad friction fit. Yeah, so there's a shape there, but you can see this middle piece is not in there well. Not at all. That big gap there. So that's problematic. I kind of want that to sit better. Hmm. Let me mess around with this. So I used a pry tool to get it all apart. You can just see it's really warped in there. It's uh, The channel isn't straight. This side looks okay, but that side is all messed up. And there's a little bit of crazy glue that, holding that together. So maybe it just wasn't glued in place right. I'm just going to try to push it in again now that it's totally been worked out. Now it doesn't want to go in. So something with that channel on that upper side is off. So I'm going to have to mess with this. Maybe put it in hot water. As you can see, it's a lot nicer now. I basically just took the whole outside thing and put it in hot water. And then I took, left this cold and just put it in after and it fit perfectly. So it's a lot more aligned, even though you can't really tell from the outside. I just want my toys to be finished better. Alright, well now, let's look at this uh, thing here. I will say, I, I kind of feel like these pipes here uh, should maybe be colored something different. Uh, they just look a little weird being the same color as the rest. Uh, we'll see if this head will even go on the peg. It's a round peg, so you can get a little side to side, but if you can see here, I think uh, not too much because it's going to collide as you twist it. But for some reason, all right, that might be all the way down. So you're going to get some collision there. You can get a little bit of left and right, but not too much. And then uh, it's nice that these shoulders will rotate. The first one will not because it has rectangular pegs, but these are round, so that's nice. The hands will obviously rotate, the shield will rotate. Unfortunately, the torso will not rotate because it's not round. I wish they used more round pegs and converge. All in all, it looks pretty nice though. Uh, this one, as usual though, a lot converges, almost all of them, are always looking downwards at a pretty drastic angle, I think. I wish they looked horizontal. You know what, let's just re I haven't probably reviewed this now that it's a robot. Look at all these gold little uh, beam cannons. They're really nice. It's a really shiny gold, so that's nice. Uh, this red is recessed, so that looks pretty neat. Uh, matches well with the more recessed red here. But down on the feet, it's not red, it's orange. It's a recessed orange in the sky blue here. Uh, not much color other than these two on the shield, unfortunately. The hands have beam cannons in them as well, like a Xeong. Nice recesses there. Uh, more pipe details, but no gunmetal color or anything like that. A lot of red here in these vents. Nice strikes. Nice vents here again. Uh, gold again. And this, nice about these, they have four little round holes in them, these thrusters or whatnot. Or maybe they're beam cannons, I'm not sure. The bottom of the feet, maybe those are thrusters, pretty plain, no extra color there, but I'd rather the color up here than on the bottom anyways, right? Same with under the head, you know, no color under there, but that's fine. Concentrate on what's important, the outside. Alright, well, yeah, it's nice, interesting color combination of purple and blue and red and yellow, or orangey. Get this thing spinning and uh, pull it a couple more. I think so. It's big. Let me get these out of the way. So, like a Xeon, this cartoon image back here, it has remote controlled hands. So, and I guess the maybe the first Psycho can do that too, but I didn't realize that when I reviewed it. So, let's get this sir, first Psycho up here. So, they're actually the same height. Or very close to it, which I think makes sense. But definitely some changes were made along the way between these two robots. 
And uh, this one was in double zeta, I guess. So I do have a double zeta, number 69 in the Converge series. So you can see, it's uh, definitely smaller, right? I'm gonna pull up this perfect Xeon here. And that's similar in height as well, but much less bulky. Like the head is smaller. Oh yeah, I also read that this head can be a escape pod, just like the Xeon. I don't know about the first one though. Please leave a comment if you know. I don't really read all those fandom web pages. I don't have time. I'm too busy making reviews. So I count on commenters to educate me and the other people watching this video. All right, well, very neat. I do like these supersized converges, although they very often tend to come with a supersized price. But I like how this one has so many different colors. I'm still gonna probably detail both of these things up, all, all of them actually, but uh, I'll, I'll do that later. So thank you for watching today, and I'll see you the next time I get another one of these larger converges.